Good morning, GMS. I'm Matthew. And my name is Egan. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of November 4th. This month's new root value for November is thankfulness. This means when someone shows gratitude or is being grateful, what is something you can be thankful for this week? It's not too early to order your book. You can go to the GMS homepage or go to yearbookforever.com to order yours. This is what Mr. Dean looked like when he was in sixth grade. He hasn't changed at all, right? Speaking of yearbooks, are you interested in joining the GMS yearbook team? Do you like writing stories or taking pictures? If you are interested in helping create our GMS yearbook, see Mrs. New in room 3112. The holidays are right around the corner. If your family needs assistance for Thanksgiving and or Christmas, GMS has several community partnerships that can help you. For more information or to sign up, please contact Mrs. McGuire. If you are a 7th grader going on the Chicago trip this weekend, you need to meet at GMS this Saturday around 6 a.m. They will start loading buses no later than 6.15 a.m. and leave at 6.30 a.m. Don't be late. This trip is going to be awesome. Elle's Frozen Yogurt will be here tomorrow, November 5th. The cost is $5. Make a reminder so you can enjoy a tasty treat during lunch. Last month was National Bullying Prevention Month. One of the most popular ways that teens are bullied is over digital devices. This is called cyberbullying. If you feel you are being cyberbullied, try to block the bully, then tell a trusted adult. Later in the show, Mr. Dean will share more about cyberbullying in our GMS News flashback. Any students interested in joining the Greenwood Middle School Best Buddies program, please see Mrs. Webb in the art room. If you want to know more about what Best Buddies is, we will share a video at the end of the show to explain. Next Monday, November 11th, is the annual Veterans Day Convocation in the GMS gym. All GMS students should wear red, white, and blue to show your support. Now let's go to the interview of the week with Olivia, top training with Brianna, sports with Eva, and a GMS flashback with Mr. Dean. Hi, I'm Olivia and I'm here for the interview of the week with Miss Vest. How are you doing today? I'm great, how are you? Good, thanks. So our first question is, what's your favorite part about being a teacher? Um, I just really love working with the students and the staff and being part of the Greenwood family. What do you like to do outside of school? Outside of school, I like to go hiking, I like to hula hoop, and mostly I like to hang out with my cat. Did you teach at any other schools before this, and if so, what did you teach? Um, I ta taught in Martinsville for one year, and I taught math. Cool. How many years have you taught? This is my third year. Okay, thank you. Now back to the studio. Hello, welcome to Top Training, where we discuss the latest trends of the week. I am Brianna, number three, the World Series. The World Series with the Washington Nationals are the Houston Astros finished last Wednesday. The Nationals took a two-game lead at the beginning of the series, and it looked like they were going to easily beat the Astros for the title. However, the Astros came back and forced the series to go seven games. Finally, the Nationals, formerly the Montreal Expos, claimed the championship in the decisive game seven to win the first World Series title in team history. Number two, Call of Duty. Modern Warfare, not even a month after Call of Duty Mobile's release, Activision created another great game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. When this game was announced, many people were skeptical that it wouldn't be a good game. As of Call of Duty has made sequels to many of their games, including Black Ops, and these sequels almost turn out bad. However, reviews about the new Modern Warfare has been amazing. 
Do you think the hype around the game will stay or will it die quickly? Number one, Team Trees. A very popular YouTube and internet star called Mr. Beast has partnered with Mark Wilbur, Arbor Fa Day Foundation, and many other YouTubers to try to plant 20 million trees by 2020. So far, the goal is already half of the way completed with 8 million trees already planted at the time this was written. In fact, this program has become so popular, Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, donated $1 million. In order to plant one tree, you can donate $1. If you want to donate, go to www.teamtrees.org. That's all for Top Trading. Have a great week. Hi, my name is Eva, and we're going to take a look at the sports for this week. On Thursday, the 6th grade girls basketball team will be battling at Indian Creek at 5.30 p.m. Now back to the studio. Welcome, and thank you for joining Best Buddies, a global volunteer movement engaging people just like you to help us change the world. At Best Buddies, our mission is to create opportunities for friendship, leadership, and jobs for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. This video explains what to expect when you join Best Buddies. First, let's look at some important facts. Did you know there are 200 million people in the world with intellectual and developmental disabilities? Students with these disabilities often don't have the same social opportunities. But all students with and without disabilities have a lot in common. And we're going to help you form a friendship that could change both of your lives. So what can you do? To begin, put people first. We all have unique characteristics, but shouldn't be identified by them. No one wants to be known by a feature like glasses girl or short guy. We want to be known as a person first. That's what we do in Best Buddies. So here's how the program works. You'll be matched with someone in your school who shares similar interests for a one-year commitment of friendship. We suggest you spend time together twice per month doing things you both enjoy. It's also important that you communicate with each other once a week. This could be by phone, email, text, or in person. Go on group outings with your chapter or some other buddy pairs four times a year. The goal of Best Buddies is for you to make a new friend. We want you to share the power of that friendship with your community. And most of all, we want you to have a lot of fun getting to know each other. Remember that friendships take time and are built on simple things. It's a good idea to talk about time at your first meeting, like when you will talk on the phone, hang out, and see each other. Include your friends and family in some of your outings. Be honest and ask questions. The Best Buddies community is here to support you. And remember that friendships take two people who make time for each other. Inclusion, education, equality. These are the goals of the Best Buddies program. When you become a buddy, you are making much more than a commitment to get to know another person. You are helping to make your school and community more inclusive of people with differences. Thank you. And remember, give your friendship time, have lots of fun, and know that you are changing the world with the simple power of friendship. Listen up, everybody have a seat on the floor. It seems we got a little topic that we need to explore. Cyberbullying, harassing, and making threats on your cell phone, electronics, or internet. It's become an epidemic that's sweeping the nation. From elementary schools to higher education. It can start with a cell phone text or IM. Beginning as a joke but with worse intentions. The victim finds it hard to escape the hate doesn't know where to turn who can relate since cyberbullying evolves with the latest tech it's kind of hard to prevent if you're behind the step 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 don't be a bully on the internet 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 who's a cyberbully is he a 
Cyber bullies even hang out in them online games Proclaiming how much you suck and how your skills are lame It's dangerous and also agonizing Sometimes our online habits and behaviors need revising The game settings could have a feature to mute Some console games have a vote to boot If your harassment comes while in a chat client You can block the bully in the settings, can try it If you're cyber bully via cell phone texts Be sure to report them if you're feeling stressed Tell a trusting teacher, parent, or a guardian Someone that can help the harassment end. Don't be a bully on the internet. 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 Who's a cyber bully? Is he a cyber bully? Is she a cyber bully? Are we cyber bullies? Who's a cyber bully? Are they cyber bullies? Are you a cyber bully? Do you know a cyber bully? If a Facebook post has you all in a rage, delete, then block the sender from your Facebook page. If cyberbullying evolves into physical threats, save all your messages and text for evidence. Now you know what to do and you're not alone when you're bullied on the internet and cellular phone. Cyberbullying's an act that nobody deserves. You may not think it's a big deal because you're fighting with words. If you say this can happen to you, then you're a liar in memory of Phoebe Prince and Megan Meyer. Thanks for watching this week's of episode of GMS News. I'm Matthew. And I'm Zegan. Please visit our website and our YouTube channel to submit show ideas and suggestions. Have a great week, GMS.